Several days ago, an important news came out from QuantumScape regarding its solid-state batteries, but it kind of went unnoticed. QuantumScape said it achieved solid-state batteries that can fast charge in 15 minutes through 400 consecutive cycles. Let's take a look what this means. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. QuantumScape has shared new data showcasing further development of its solid state batteries, whose cells have completed 400 consecutive 15 minute fast charging cycles, replenishing from 10% to 80% capacity while still retaining over 80% of the initial energy. As a first for this type of battery technology, QuantumScape believes it can bring electric vehicle charge times down within several minutes of gas station fill-ups, helping promote further EV adoption. You know the charge time is one of the bottlenecks of electric vehicle adoptions because people are thinking that they need to sting, uh, they need to stay at uh, the charge places, charging places for a longer time. Although most of the people charge at home, so QuantumScape is is a solid state battery manufacturer founded in 2010 with the goal of developing scalable, effective solid state batteries. By utilizing millions of dollars in funding from major automakers like Volkswagen Group, as well as reverse SPAC merger with Kensington Capital Acquisition, QuantumScape has established itself as one of the global leaders in solid-state battery development. In December 2020, the battery developer announced a major breakthrough in its technology by utilizing a ceramic separator, leading to the successful testing of single-layer prototype cells. After doubling the size of its initial pilot manufacturing line, QuantumScape revealed it has also developed a 10-layer cell. The battery developer continues to work on multiple-layer solid-state batteries before test cells are produced in its QuantumScape QS0 pre-pilot production line in 2023. So we expect the solid state batteries coming in 2023 with great specs. What do you think about that, friends? In the meantime, however, QuantumScape has reached another industry first with its single layer solid state batteries sharing new charge cycle data. The solid state battery developer shared news of its new data in a press release backed by a complete white paper study. According to QuantumScape, it conducted its tests uh, on commercially relevant sized single layer prototype battery cells at temperatures of 25 degrees Celsius and 45 degrees Celsius. Um, the result was solid state batteries that successfully completed 400 consecutive 15 minute fast charge cycles from 10 to 80 percent capacity. For perspective, 400 cycles of electric vehicles with 300 miles of range equates to 120,000 miles driven. That's a lot of miles. Current consumer electric vehicles generally need between 25 to 30 minutes of DC fast charge to replenish from 10 to 80% without reducing the longevity of the cell. This added time to replenish remains a talking point for combustion drivers who can pull in, get gas, and be on their way in five to six minutes, writes Electric. Electric says QuantumScape believes that if it can successfully deliver these demonstrator charge capabilities to the electric vehicle market, the time difference between electric vehicles and gas cars can be lowered to several minutes, QuantumScape co-founder and CEO Jagdeep Singh spoke to the new data. He said, we believe QuantumScape's lithium metal technology provides a pathway to significantly improved fast charging performance in electric vehicles. We believe innovations like this are crucial to narrowing the performance gap between electric vehicles and combustion engines based on uh, engine based vehicles and represent the future of the electrified transportation sector. 
a large hurdle of scalability looms as it does for all those who are working to bring viable solid state batteries to market. However, QuantumScape continues to make strides in its technology and will soon be rolling out test cells, which is going to be very exciting. So please subscribe to this channel, friends because we're going to bring all those reports to you and you will know the latest about solid state batteries that toyota is working on its own and quantumscape is going to soon bring to test so with its latest data it moves one step closer notes electric to solid state batteries meaning quant quantumscape moves one step closer to solid state batteries that can simultaneously lower electric vehicle charge time while growing ev adoptions this is very exciting because we're going to see new batteries coming in the market soon uh, tesla's 4680 batteries will come to market and toyota solid state battery will come to market hopefully in within a few years and now quantum scape may bring uh, something to the market in a year and a half or so i was looking at the comments and one person says average north american drives 40 kilometers per day what is that like 30 miles per day it takes 10 seconds or less to plug in my ev at night and that 40 kilometers is replaced replenished in under an hour on a long road trip i stop at supercharger every few hours and charge for under 25 minutes while i have a stretch bio break coffee snack says um, this person charging speeds are currently not a huge issue there are better problems to tackle to increase electric vehicle adoptions such as bringing the prices of electric vehicles down and getting more charging options for people who don't have garages so what do you think you agree with this view friends bringing electric vehicles down one thing that will help to bring electric vehicle prices down is to bring newer batteries more because batteries are a huge part of the cost of the electric vehicles and especially when tesla brings the 4680 batteries to the market which will expect next month in march um, we should see that will be key to bring electric vehicle prices down and bring uh, provide more affordable electric vehicles as i mentioned in my yesterday's reports about tesla panasonic 4680 batteries if you haven't seen check that out friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily electric vehicle and tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and also give us thumbs up like this video i would greatly appreciate it guys sharing social media have a great day god bless you everyone and let's move on to our next tesla story Bloomberg reports that Tesla's new batteries mean more control of cell supply chain. This morning, Bloomberg has very interesting two reports about Tesla's 4680 battery cells. The first was about Panasonic retooling the facility in Wakayama, Japan to start the production of Tesla's 4680 batteries. And about the meantime, Tesla, uh, Bloomberg had another report saying Tesla's new batteries mean more control of cell supply chain. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Aryan from torquenews.com. If you guys are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, like this video. We would greatly appreciate to stay in touch for daily breaking Tesla news. So whenever Tesla reports earnings, it's a bit of a mad scramble, says Bloomberg, for me and my colleagues here at Bloomberg, says the reporter. But once the dust settles, I like to go back and read over the transcript of the earnings call for nuanced points that I may have not fully appreciated case in point tesla's 4680 battery cells in 2020 tesla made the big news announcing the larger 4680 battery cells tesla is producing these on a pilot line on cato road in fremont california but also plans to procure them from longtime suppliers like panasonic the battery maker on wednesday announced like i said plans today announced the plans to start prototype production of the 4680 battery early this year at the facility in japan western's wakayama prefecture making automotive grade battery cells at consistently high volume and quality is no small feat and tesla's foray into battery cell production is another sign of how critical vertical integration is to its overall strategy in the third quarter earnings release in october tesla said that the 46 ad in-house cell project continues to progress we are producing an increasing number of battery packs for testing purposes and so far the test results meet 
our current expectations, said uh, Tesla. That sounded promising, but it was clear that volume production remained a work in progress. Then last week, Drew Baglino, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering and companies, de facto chief technology officer, provided a significant update. He said, so throughout 2021, we focused on growing cell supply alongside our in-house 46AD effort to provide us flexibility and insurance as we attempt to grow as fast as possible, Baglino said during the earnings call. We are making meaningful progress of the ramp curve in Cato. We're building 46 AD structural packs every day, which are being assembled into vehicles in Texas. I was driving one yesterday and the day before, and we believe our first 46 AD vehicles will be delivered this quarter. End of the quote. The first vehicle to be made at the company's plant in Austin, Texas will be the Model Y. And it sounds like the first Model Ys with the 4680 batteries will be delivered by the end of March. It's not clear if the first Model Y cars with 4680 cells are the ones made in Fremont or from outside suppliers or both. But Tesla's efforts to exert more control over its battery supply give the company a leg up over legacy automakers. Tesla remains the leader of the multi-decade secular transition to electric vehicles, said analyst Dan Levi of Credit Suisse in a note to clients Monday. With less questions around demand and much more questions around the supply of electric vehicles, Tesla should be a key beneficiary. It has a product lead versus others and has taken the most holistic approach on electric vehicle supplies. So friends, very interesting things. Tesla is going to use its batteries to get more key advantage over its uh, control uh, and, and control over its cell supply chain, which is not the case with legacy automakers. So what do you think about all these developments and Panasonic joining Tesla to building 4680 batteries? I think in the next couple of months, we may have the first Tesla vehicles running with 4680 batteries. The question for me, since there are so many promises about the 4680 batteries, how the Tesla specs will change? Will we see Tesla adding maybe another 100 mile to each range or dropping the price down? Because like I said in my previous report about uh, 4680 batteries, because they are bigger, more, less and fewer materials are needed to build them. Therefore, the price has come, needs to come down. Like I said in my per earlier report, the 4680 batteries are tooted as key to cheaper electric vehicles. So what do you think? How do you think Teslas will change running with 4680 batteries? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. Give us thumbs up, like this video, share in social media. I would greatly appreciate guys. That helps a lot. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. And I'll look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. Have a great day.